took the shuttle from Stahican to High Bridge back on the PCT. Been hiking for about a mile. And I think there's a pack of about seven to nine of us that are going about 15 miles in. And uh, gonna kind of stick together in case there's a lot of snow on this section. Spent about 15 years wanting to do this trail, pretty much driving myself crazy. And uh, I totally get it. Like if you're sitting at home watching this, like, fuck man, I gotta get out there someday. I feel you, that was me for a decade and a half. And when the time comes, you'll probably have to sacrifice something and it'll probably be worth it. But if you just wait for this shit to be convenient, it's pretty likely it'll never happen. Check this out, never seen anything like this. Looks like a fir tree and a cedar tree started growing right next to each other kind of grafted together and both got absolutely fucking gigantic sometimes i don't try i just just did an ass kicker of an exposed climb through a burn zone got less than 0.1 camp this is my totally fucking awesome sleeping pad pump. We made it to camp. Big pack of us. Good fucking time. Shit got shade and water right here. This is the start of day two of the stretch from Stahican to Stevens Pass. And up into the snow we go. We got probably about five miles of on and off snow until heading up and over a pass. Hundred miles in, only 25 and a half of these to go. Got 0.2 miles up to Seattle Pass, right up that way. Definitely the biggest trees on the trip so far right here. I think that's an incense cedar. If not, it's some kind of cedar. Very big tree. Looking like this small campsite's gonna be my home for the night. Right about there. He doesn't want to run. Fuck me, dude. It kind of sucks. Still there. Still sucks. Now just below the trail, but still like interested in me. And I don't particularly like this. All right, so clearly that bear situation resolved itself. Hung out in that same spot for about five minutes and then Mark from Australia came walking up and we uh, just talked calm we walked by it it eventually ran away downhill still a weird encounter though getting up pretty high i got a 3,000 foot climb to start the day about a 2,000 foot descent and another 2,000 foot climb to mica lake i think i'd ever seen one of these before pretty sure that's a moment I 
I cannot lie, this is getting a little bit old. I've been going through about a, well, when I get to the bottom of that creek down there, it will have been a 2,000 foot descent through most of, mostly this kind of thing. Hey buddy, it's okay. There come, you're fine. You're fine. I was doing that steep, brushy descent earlier. You can kind of see the switchbacks coming down the hill up there. Glad that's over with. A little over 16 miles in on the day, getting back up to another pass. And this definitely begs the question, Am I setting myself up to camp on some snow tonight? Should be Micah Lake, just up and over that bench. This is Micah Lake. Not too swimmable right now. Right, I was hoping to camp at Michael Lake here tonight, but I'm gonna have to head up to Fire Creek Pass. Once I get over that, I'm just gonna take the first dry spot I see. All right, this fucking sucks. Been a lot of this shit, a lot more to go. Got about 700 feet to climb up to the top of the pass. If you're watching at home right now, I'm jealous of you. Almost there, that's the top of Fire Creek Pass. Just came through all this stuff, and there's a Fucking switchbacks again. Right down there. Made it to the top of Fire Creek Pass, and I'm quite positive I can single handedly overwhelm any restaurant kitchen right now. There's the view that just opened up. Heading in this direction. This is gonna be home for the night. It was one of the longer days I've had in the backcountry. More snow than I've ever dealt with, a lot of blowdowns, and probably the most elevation I've dealt with with a uh, backpacking pack on my back. Back, 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 back. This was home last night. It's about six in the morning now, picking up and getting ready to go. Hey, Jack, she never asked about you, motherfucker. Start a day for the stretch from Stahican to Stevens Pass. We don't know, you Went through a little sun patch and caught myself doing this, which is, you know, if you got a backwards hat on and then you do this, like how just absolutely fucking ridiculous that is, that's this guy. I'm just out here making sure that all these trees know what a, what a middle-aged but hip fella I am out here, I guess. Red Pass right now, which is right there. All right, on top of Red's Pass, this is the past. Just came up this valley up this way, and here is the future. Should be making it to Stevens Pass in three days rather than the four. I'm a little bit ahead of schedule, at which point I will go into Wenatchee and decimate the town with Ranchero Supply. Oh, big mouth. Look at that. Just enough to keep these ghosts around those haunted. Ah, shit. I'm like a wildfire, miles and miles away, but the direction I'm going. And companions, you and I were just passing through. Ah, uh, interesting. I don't love it. So this is Reflection Pond down here. I was totally expecting it to be frozen over like Micah Lake was. I'm gonna stop here and consider the possibility of ending the day here. It would only be about 15 miles. Probably should go on, but what else? 
All right, thought process going on here is I really like this little pond right here. I also think a tent would look really, really good in that little nook right back there. It's windy, so there's gonna be fewer bugs. And we got some thawed water to swim around in, which I haven't had yet. Uh, got about eight miles ahead of the itinerary that Schoolboy, shout out Schoolboy, had sent me to get to Stevens Pass, so I'm a little bit ahead there. You know, I definitely do have to get all the fuck the way to Mexico, which is 2,500 miles away. At the same time, I did not come out here to just rush through this thing. So, oh man, give me endless time. Never let these ties sever. It's heaven knows and all this fooling around. These times will Good morning. Just after 6 a.m., Started the day about 35 miles from Stevens Pass and uh, woke up pretty early this morning, got on trail before 6 a.m. and kind of had this idea, like if I can steadily cover 25 miles today, leaving myself about 10 for tomorrow, I can get into a motel pretty early and uh, get those Thursday instead of Friday prices. Eventually, I'm gonna have my last step on snow this trip. I probably won't know it when I do, but uh, damn, I wish I would, because I would celebrate. Tell me how long you gonna stay here, Joe. Some people say. It's one o'clock now, I've covered 16 miles so far. Really just been focusing on hiking, not making many videos, and I'm now about 19 miles from Stevens Pass. I'm gonna see if I can bop a 25er today. Leave me with about 10 miles tomorrow so I can check into a motel at a decent hour. Hate the idea of spending one night at a motel and just checking in at 9 p.m. or something. I wanna veg out and take five showers. So I think I'm gonna to try to wake up early tomorrow, get to Stevens Pass. There's a free shuttle bus into Wenatchee. If you're there and you want any huevos rancheros, you better beat me there. So I'm getting to wherever the huevo spot is, and I'm saying, as many plates of them shits as you can make, I'll take them. You've been warned. This night, got a little one person nook right here with a pretty epic view. Mission accomplished. Got 24 miles in on the day, got 13 left to go to Stevens Pass, and I should be ready at a very reasonable hour tomorrow. All this snow has been melting, and you know what that means. Here come the bugs, doo 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 doo. Here come the bugs, and I say, oh fuck. <laughs> don't understand about the particular webbing that they use for these buckles it's like how strong do you have to be to get this fucking thing to feed through it's kind of ridiculous i mean i'm way stronger than tim arnold but like that's not saying a lot oh the sweet sound of the highway from the wilderness and i actually mean that right now 
made it to Stevens Pass. Just got to figure out where the resupply is at and then catch a bus into Wenatchee. Yes, right when you get across the bridge, this is the building you pick up your resupply at. Ugh.